In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use a piece of software called PCM to run Windows 98. First, you're obviously going to need to download PCM, so I'll leave this website linked in the description and download version 17 for Windows. You will also need the version 17 ROMs, so you just download the zip here. This is a scam. Do not click this. It's the zip file from here that you want. Do not click this review. This will give you a virus. So now in your file explorer, you should have two zip files. One of them should be the actual software and the other one should be the ROMs. Open up the software, select all of these, and then drag and drop them to a folder of your choice, as long as it's not like a system folder or something. Just give that a second. We have all these files here now. Now you just want to open up the ROMs folder. Open up the ROMs here. Select all of these and drag and drop them into the ROMs folder. So there's two files you're going to need. One of them is the Windows 98 boot disk and the other is the CD ROM image. So download this one. and then also download this one. This one could take a while, so I'll be right back. So now what you want to do is just extract these, so extract them to here, and then extract to here. Again, this larger one could take quite a while, so yeah just give it a second and now it's done extracting so I'd recommend you take the actual disk images and just move them into your actual downloads folder or somewhere else and then you can just get rid of these folders And now you're ready to fire up the software. To do that, just simply double click PCM.exe. Now you will get the PCM configuration manager. You got lots of buttons, but just follow what I do. Select this button in the bottom left hand corner called new. And we're just gonna call this Windows 98. There's a bunch of options here. I want to scroll all the way down until you find the Gigabyte GA686BX. The CPU, you want to select a nice and fast Pentium 2 450. And the RAM, 512 is probably a bit much for Windows 98, so keep that somewhere around 256. For the display, you want to select 3DFX Voodoo 3 3000. Sound card, you want Sound Blast PCI128. Leave all the other settings at the default. And now to create a hard drive, you select New. Leave it as a .img file. Select this button. And then you can select where you want to put the disk image. I've already got this folder open, but you will probably need a new folder for yourself to put your disk images in. Now you can just call this whatever you want. And size, I'd recommend about 2048 megabytes. Now for the mouse, you just want to select Microsoft IntelliMouse PS2. We don't need a joystick, just leave that alone and no network card. So now I'm going to fire up Windows 98 and it's going to do a bunch of this stuff, just let it do this. And you'll get a disk boot failure, insert system disk and press enter. So first you want to load up the disk image to put the Windows 98 disk image in the DVD drive or the virtual DVD drive. 
and then change drive A to the boot disk and now press enter. And now you'll be presented with a menu with three options. Just press start Windows 98 setup from CD-ROM. Now a blue menu like this one will appear. Press enter. Press enter again. Yes, enable large disk support. And the Windows 98 boot disk is in drive A. So just press enter. So now once again, you start Windows 98 setup from CD-ROM. And now it's gonna format the drive. This could take a while, so yeah, just wait. So once it's done, just press enter. And then SanDisk is gonna, then SanDisk will do that. And now you're in Windows 98 setup. This will probably take around half an hour. That's how long it's taken from my previous experience. So click continue. Now it's gonna prepare the setup wizard. And now just accept the license agreement. And now type in your product key. So now when it asks you what directory you want to install Windows 98 in, just leave it at C colon slash Windows. If this comes up for some reason, just say yes. Keep the setup option set at typical. Then just type in a username. And I wouldn't type in my company, but if you want to, go ahead. And then you just want to install the most common components. Call this Win98.1. Leave workgroup, just set as workgroup. And computer description, you can just type whatever you want. Now you just want to set your location. I'm going to set mine to the United Kingdom. And when it asks you to create a startup disk, select next. And then select cancel because you don't need a startup disk. And now just click next. And wait. Yeah. It, it's that exciting. So once it's done with the file copying, you'll get this message. Get out of full screen by pressing Ctrl Alt Page Down. Select Disk and then Eject Drive A. And then you can do Ctrl Alt Page Down to go into full screen again. And then you just press OK to restart. So now Windows 98 just going to initialize its driver database. And now you'll be prompted to restart your computer again, so just do that. So now you're going to get like a bunch of setup options. I'm just going to set my time zone to actually correct and I don't know why it's set to October 24th it's October 4th today after you're done with that setup will configure a few more things but they don't require any input from you so you can just sit back and relax
And now just don't enter a password. Because it's Windows 98. Anyone can steal your data from Windows 98. Do not enter a password. And the setup might ask you to search for drivers for a device. So just search the floppy drives in the CD-ROM drive and it should find default drivers. These aren't the best drivers. For example, this monitor driver will only allow me to have 16 colors when the 3DFX Voodoo 3 3000 or whatever it is is perfectly capable of 32-bit color, not 16 colors. And you're in. And just like that, you are in Windows 98. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to get all the drivers for audio, the display, so you can have more than 16 colors on your display. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.